the imposters I'm taking the mask off, prepare your conscience Prepare for honest, cut off all the nonsense I'm all in your shot, girl, wonder who shot you Go call the doctor, boom like the chopper Don't you get chopped up, I'm here to stop you Whoever wants smoke like a roster, break you off proper Things they say They're never getting in It's a K-Mac Thursday night from the Dog Pound in Howard, Ohio. The unbeaten Lady Freddy's of Fredericktown 3-0. One of the K-Mac favorites make their way into the pound to take on the Lady Bulldogs opening up their K-Mac slate this evening. We got all the action coming your way on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have. It's coming your way next. That all myself is a select that I done chose. The way I'm moving, I don't see them in a way. The way they talking, I'm not hearing what they say. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, 
highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report. We welcome you inside the Simonson Construction Services LLC pregame show for this KMAC volleyball matchup between 3-0 Fredericktown and 0-1 East Knox. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi, coming to you from the dog pound here in Howard, Ohio, for some Thursday night K-Maction. And let's get right into the pregame show and take a look at our team spotlight for the visiting Lady Freddies of Fredericktown. Last year, they were the 2022 KMAC co-runners up. They tied with Centerburg. Centerburg got the best of them last game of the season in Freddyburg to tie for second place behind unbeaten Cardington. They finished 18 and seven, fell in a district semifinal to Fairbanks 3-0. However, this season they've only lost one set in their first three matches, and that was in a 3-1 victory over Cardington. So you beat the defending champs that kind of puts you out as the front runners, and that is where the Freddies of Fredericktown are right now. As you see them getting ready to take the floor one more time before the start of this one. Let's take a look at the player spotlight for those Freddies of Fredericktown. And it is Jillian Bouton. Last season, 182 kills, 74 blocks, and 29 aces. This season, 24 kills, five blocks, and three aces, only in three matches thus far. So she's right back on pace to being one of the best in the Knox Morrow Athletic Conference. As you take a look at Jill right there, her and her sister. Ella back on the roster for one final season. Jill being the senior this year. Now let's take a look at the spotlight for the homestanding Lady Dogs of East Knox High School. Once again brought to you by Simonson Construction Services. Last year they were 6-13 overall, 2-8 in the KMAC. They lost in their sectional opener to Fairfield Christian Academy in straight sets. 0-1, they lost to Utica in their opener, 3-2. Zero. There are the Lady Dogs and I believe new uniforms this year sporting the purple and gold there. And now, let's take a look at the keys to victory for the Lady Dogs. Tonight, they got to play air free. Fredericktown, a very good squad. Mostly seniors and juniors on this squad. They have to play error free and also play inspired. If you want to get an upset, especially early on, you got to play inspired ball. You got to play together. And you have to play error free. Now to the keys to victory for the Freddies of Fredericktown. Block party. Like I said, they had 
quite a few blocks already this season. 16 in total. Maya Bryant leads the way with seven blocks. Ella Bouton with six. Jill with five. Lily Rose with three. Callie Carpenter with three. And Julia Partington with two. So just over five blocks per contest so far this season. And then spread the wealth. They also don't just go through one player this year. They have five players with over 10 kills, two players with over 20 already, as Lily Rose has 25, Jill with 24, Ella with 19, Maya with 17, and Callie with 12. So this is a very balanced squad for these two teams this evening. Almost ready to throw it down to the floor for the playing of the National Anthem. So while we have this moment, it's time to w say welcome to all of you folks out there watching live and free this evening on the OH Report. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you out as well right here on our stream. And also, make sure to vote on the poll on Facebook and YouTube. Who's going to win this one? Fredericktown or East Knox? It's simple. You click the team you want to win. That's all you got to do. Another KMAX slate on tap tonight between both of these teams. And we'll try and keep you updated as we can with scores from around the Knox Morrow Athletic Conference. If you were watching on Tuesday night, Centerburg defeated Northmore in straight sets. Also, Danville knocked off Mount Gilead. So there are your three squads at 1-0. East Knox opening up with their conference slate tonight. Some scores early on from the KMAC. First from Saturday, the first official day of volleyball, Cardington falling the Northridge in four sets. Centerburg straight sets over Bishop Reedy. Fredericktown swept Utica, and Elgin swept Mount Gilead. On Monday night, the Lady Dogs fell in straight sets. Fredericktown knocked off Clear Fork in three sets. Let's take it down to the floor now for the playing of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Just about ready to go in this K-Mac matchup. Going over a few more scores as we get ready to give the lineups. Fredericktown on Monday knocked off Clear Fork in straight sets. And then Tuesday night, the official opener in Knox Morrow Athletic Conference play. Fredericktown knocking off the defending champion Cardington 25-18. 14, 25, 25, 19, and 25, 14. 
Centerberg in a match you saw live and free. Handled Northmore 25-14, 25-19, 25-19. And Danville defeated Mount Gilead 25-15, 25-13, 25-19. Tonight's schedule, you got the game here at East Knox. Danville's at Centerberg. Mount Gilead is at Loudonville. And Seneca East is at Northmore. So the Lady Knights taking on a district power in Seneca East in the non-conference with the other three playing. Frederictown with us players, students, coaches, and parents for playing with us tonight. I'm here just for a quick reminder to the fans that both, te both teams have worked very hard in preparing for today's game, and we would appreciate your support and encouragement tonight. We request that all the cheering be done in a positive and respective, respective manner. Thank you. So a little announcement from senior DS Heba Ezerali about sportsmanship. The K-Mac doing that this season. But now it's time to take a look at our roster players for both sides this evening. First for the Lady Freddies of we Fredericktown. Number two, Kylan Grog. Kylan Grog, a senior. Number three, Anna, Number three, Taylor. Anna Taylor, a junior. Number five, Number five Bella, Bella Mullins, Mullins, a senior. Number, Number six, six, Julia, Julia Partington, Partington, a senior. Number 11, Callie Carpenter. Number 11, Number Callie 13, Carpenter. Bella Number 15, Kinley Grog. Number 16, Jill Bowden. Number 25, Josie Leach. Number seven, Number Taylor Bryant. Lily Rose. Number 12, the 11, Callie Carpenter. Number 12, Maya Bryant. 13, Ella Bowden. 15, Kinley Grog, now, 16, Joe Bout, 25, Josie Leach, 27, Lily Rose. Six seniors on the squad, four juniors and two sophomores. And now let's take a look at the roster for the home squad, the Lady Dogs. Senior number four of East Knox. Number 18, Cindy. Imogen Arnold. Walker, a freshman. Cadence Mickley, a junior. Number three, Addison Davis, Addison a junior. Davis. Heba Azarelli, a senior. Number two, Kensley Reed McMillan, Spickley. a senior. Savannah Crawford, a freshman. Number 24. Kara Nepp, a senior. Zoe Parker, a sophomore. Sydney Opfer, a junior. And Farrah Redman rounding out the roster. She is a junior. So there are the roster players from both sides. So we are just about ready to go here from Howard, Ohio. Teams shake hands, good luck, and we can start game number two in the K-Max slate for Fredericktown, game number one for the Lady Dogs. Referees looking over the lineups, making sure the players are in their correct places here. As so we wrap up the Simonson Construction Services pregame show. Yeah. 
Addison Mustaka. Tonight's libero. Checking in, the sophomore. And it will be the Lady Dogs that will serve things off. Addison Davis. And we're underway. Chance for Opfer. Kept alive. That's Carpenter brought it back over. Multiple hits. East Knox on the board first. one nothing. We'll take a look at our first Killbuck Savings Bank. Replay of the day. Sydney able to just flick that across. Get the Lady Dogs the point. Ella Bouton unable to get that to fall, and it's two straight for the Lady Dogs. Davis with her third serve. It's a strong one. Corralled by Bowden. Ella, cross court. Chance for the Lady Dogs off the block. Net violation, it's three straight. East Knox with a great start here. Kira Nepp. Another strong serve. And it's an ace. Four, nothing. Great start for the Lady Dogs. Bouton once again took a little off, and the Lady Freddies are on the board. It's 4 1. Ella that time, instead of going full force, faked that. A little flick of the wrist, and it's a point. Julia Partington, the senior, will serve. The low liner, and it's an ace. Got the angle on that one. Overpass, yummy ball flicked down, and it's three straight for Fredericktown. Josie Leach, the senior, was right there for that. Another low liner corralled by East Knox. Brought back across, a little off-speed dug up. Carpenter across. Sets up Nepp off the block. Over the Leach. And it falls for the Lady Dogs. Take a look at the replay there. That was a block by Nepp. Serve right down the middle. In system, kept alive. Free ball to the Freddies. Again in system. Leach though, bit of a misset, turned into a free ball. Nepp back across. Right in at the net. Carpenter, big swing off the block and out. Should say off the dig attempt and out. Makes it 5-4. Callie, one of the five players from Fredericktown thus far this season with over 10 kills. She will now take to the service line. 5-4 on the Knox Public Health scoreboard. In favor of the home standing Lady Bulldogs. East Knox in system. Big swing kept up by Carpenter. Blocked and down. Lily Rose tried the swing, but East Knox was right there. Farrah Redmond, one of the two to get the block. It's 6-4. Sydney with the serve. In system. Lily miss hit. And once again, the Lady Dogs back up three. It's 7 4. The 
This time Sydney goes left. Kept alive, it'll be a free ball. Back set, swing to the back line, kept alive. And miss hit off the net, another point for East Knox. And they're back up eight to four. So liking our keys to the match. The Lady Dogs playing inspired volleyball right now. Overpass, Yummy slapped and finished. It's 9-4 East Knox. Farrah Redmond ate that all up. Great start for the Lady Dogs thus far. But finally, Ella Bouton ends the streak. Nine five. Anna Taylor will serve. Quick bump back over, it'll stay with East Knox. Miscommunication though gives Fredericktown the point. It's nine six. Low serve. And it's an ace. Let's take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. Mishandling of that reception. It's back to a two point set. In system play, swing mid court. Back to Bouton, but it's out. Lady Dogs, the first to 10. 10 7. That'll give Kiera Nepp a chance to serve. Over the Bouton, big swing dug up by Nepp. Miss hit though, and that'll be four hits. So a nice job by Nepp to corral that slap, but a little too strong into the net. It's four hits, it's 10-8. Josie Leach, back to serve. Nearly an ace, it'll turn into a miss hit. Reception error, makes it 10-9. In system for the Lady Dogs, big swing, kept alive. Down the left side, another swing. Was it in? It was. Eleven nine, the score. Redmond with the serve. And it's an ace. As I'm looking down into the stands, it looks like members of both football teams here tonight. A little friendly back and forth on that line call here. Point ago. Back set, swung and finished. Lily Rose with authority. 12-10. Bella Mullins checking in the serve. Great serve, it's an ace. Went back corner. It's a one point set. Another liner is going to be an overpass. Set up for Bouton. Little flick, and it's a point. We're tied. 12 12. 
Jill with the finish. Bella doing exactly what she needs to at the service line right now, and it's going to be another ace. Three straight for her back there. And a timeout, East Knox. 13-12 the score on the Knox Public Health scoreboard. Once again, want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from on Facebook and YouTube. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you out. Also, in our next timeout, we will highlight football Friday night for you. We have six more live streams as well as a highlight coming your way tomorrow night, including the Friday Night Pigskin after all is said and done as we get ready for week two of the high school football season. I know the fans down in the East Knox are happy after their week one victory. Nearly another ace, it's gonna be a free ball. Right down the middle for Bouton, finishes it off. 14-12, Fredericktown. Perfect in-system play. Mullins still back there getting points for her squad. And it'll be another free ball. Carpenter took a little off and it's a point. The run continues. 15-12. Quick flip, and finally Opfer finishes the run. It's 15-13. She kind of took over, too, as Zoe Parker was ready to set that. Instead, she... Knocks it off the net and down for the point. Imogen Winkler to serve. But Jill Bouton gets the point. Brought that block right up to the net, flicked it right over their heads for the point. As she will now step back, she has three aces this season. See, she adds to that. There it is. Miscommunication makes it 17-13. Low liner, it's an overpass. Blocked and a double hit. So Fredericktown, after the early slow starts, recovered to take a five-point lead here in this opening set. Sydney to the back line, kept up. Back up front for Carpenter, flicks it over, kept alive. Off the block and down, nicely done by freshman Savannah Crawford. Eighteen fourteen is Addison Davis back to the line. She started things off with a nice 4-0 run. See if they can do the same to get back to even. Bowden over top of the block, kept up, flicked over. Carpenter, nice dig. And a free ball. Carpenter again off the block, back over, but out. It's a point for Fredericktown. East Knox had the block there, but it deflected out of bounds. Also, I want to give a shout-out to East Knox bowling coach 
Chip Paws Derek as well as Yearbook. You see her in the wheelchair over there. She just had ankle surgery, foot surgery, as that's knocked out for an East Knox point. Nonetheless, she's still wheeling herself around here getting pictures. It's a shout out to Chip. She said she'll be ready, ready to go for bowling season, though. Service error gives Fredericktown its 20th point. They're five points away from a set one victory. There's Coach Chip. Carpenter to serve. It'll be a free ball. Cross court for Rose. Overpass. Quick set, kept alive. Off the net and down. Nep with the swing and the finish. Played the let ball there. Makes it 20 to 16. Big swing. And it will turn into a point. Double hit they're going to call. Referee explaining to Sydney what he saw. Said he heard the double hit. Freddy's in system. That's going to be a free ball. Bouton with a big swing, kept alive. That was Davis on the dig, but knocked into the net point for the Freddies. Freddies three away. It's a free ball. Bouton with the flick and the finish. And another timeout, East Knox. Twenty three sixteen here. The score in set number one. East Knox had the early lead, but Fredericktown settled, recovered, and now have a 23-16 lead. Take a look at both sides here. Bouton. Back to serve, two points away from the set one victory. Bit of an overpass, but Opfer was there. In system chance. Nep gets it across. Back set, big swing, but it's out. 23-17. Now Nep will serve for the Lady Dogs. Bouton. Big swing and finish. Set point coming up. Able to wind up on that one. Nobody would be able to handle it. Kylan Grogue with a chance to end the set here. Just out. So 
So East Knox holds that one off. They need six straight to keep this one alive, though. Redmond the serve. And it's an ace. Twenty-four nineteen. Line drive out, and that's how the set will end. One nothing. Fredericktown after winning it 25 19. We'll take a break. When we come back, set number two right here, live and free on the OH Report. Tonight's KMAC volleyball match from the Dog Pound in Howard, Ohio, brought to you live and free thanks to our generous sponsors. Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community, as well as Knox Public Health. Simonson Construction Services, LLC, from concept to completion. We can help you make a plan, refine your vision, and build a path for success. The Killbuck Savings Bank, community banking, it's what we do, it's who we are every single day day and Amato's wood-fired pizza Amato's Mount Vernon opened in 2017 we strive to create new exciting dishes outside of the norm thank you to everybody allowing us to bring you these and every match game live and free right here on the OH report Back here as we are ready to go for set number two. 25-19, Freddy's take the first set. Travis Berardi back here at East Knox High School alongside my camera person, Madeline Zizuto. Her second ever match on camera. It'll be Fredericktown. That will serve things up in this Second set, Julia Partington will get things going here. Sydney with the swing, kept alive. Over the Carpenter, big swing and finish, it's one nothing. Good start for the Freddies. As you saw the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. Freddies shot themselves in the foot early on in the first set. 
East Knox took advantage, had as much as a five point lead in the set, but then Freddie settled down to get back and take it. Free ball, chance to extend on the lead. Bouton over top of the block and down, it's two nothing. Line drive, collected right at the net. All Winkler could do was flick it back over. Carpenter, that's dug up. It'll be a free ball. Set up for Carpenter again, off the block, kept alive. But it will be another free ball, out of bounds. It's 3-0. And an ace. So East Knox had a nice run to start the first set. It's Fredericktown now and Partington with the run. Let ball kept up. Quick flick by Opfer. Kept alive. Little dink. Back over the Freddies. And Bouton finishes. It's 5 nothing. Said this a lot over our streams of volleyball. It doesn't take a hard swing at some times to get the point. Keep the defense on their toes. Free ball to Fredericktown. Left side, the Carpenter swung. Right back at the net and finished. It's 6 nothing. Fredericktown leading this match one set to none. They've only lost one set in three and a third of a match. That lone set was against Cardington, the defending KMAC champs, but they beat them 3-1. As that won't make it back over the net, it's 7-0. Timeout by the Lady Dogs. So let's pull up. Week two of the high school football season. Start off in KMAC land. This is a big early season matchup for both of these teams. Ontario coming off of a walk-off field goal to beat Lexington. Centerberg handling Utica in a game I called live and free from Highland High School. Jonathan Langdon, as well as Brandon will be on the call of that one. It'll be YouTube Channel 5. Northmore, the Golden Knights, after an impressive victory, holding a high-powered Upper Sandusky to 21 points. They'll take on South Central at home. Mark Bollinger, his first ever football call with the OH Report. Him and Josh Banks will be on the call of that one, and we'll talk more football and the next timeout as we're back and the East Knox timeout able to freeze Partington as they get their first point on the service error pretty good start for KMAC football in week one however the Freddies ran into Dane Nauman there's an ace Fredericktown falling, I believe it was 28 0 to Highland out of the MOAC. Last year's runners up in that conference. In system, Carpenter from the other side swings, it's kept alive. Nep crosses it back over. Carpenter from the left side, this time blocked though. And the Lady Dogs make it 7 3 with three straight points for themselves. East Knox with an impressive 14-0 victory over Northridge. Danville with a big win over the Worthington Christian. Centerburg their win, Northmore as well. Loudonville knocked off Mapleton.
Mount Gilead with a win as well over Triad. Cardington fell in their game. So, but correct, only two squads unable to get wins in KMAC play. In the KMAC in week one. Knapp with a quick pushover. Too strong, it's 8-4. Josie Leach unraveled one there. Able to get that full swing on and places it perfectly in front of the back line. It's 9-4. Oakfer puts it across. Swing again, finished. Leach back-to-back -back points. Taylor with the serve and just across the line. It's 10-5. Love a lady dog substitution. As Sydney ready to serve. Can Leach get three straight? She cannot. That's strong. And now down to a four-point set at 10-6. So East Knox on a 6-3 run here since the timeout. Kept alive for the moment. What an effort there. Redmond keeps it alive. And then blocked. It's still alive. Bout with the yummy. Won't go. East Knox with some life now. Take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. Multiple blocks to get point seven. Short serve for Sydney. In system. Bouton. Yes. Set up perfectly for Jill. East Knox playing back because of just the ferocity of these swings opened up that hole for Bouton to smack it down at. McMillan across, kept alive. It'll be a free ball. Set up. Corralled, dinked over. Right back at you and finished. Redman with the dink and the finish. 11-8. Nep with the serve. Back set, slap, step, stays alive. Miscommunication, though, gives Fredericktown the point. Bella Mullins getting in on the party. Overpass, yummy ball kept up. Sydney puts it across. Carpenter finishes it off. 14-8.
Into the net, point East Knox. So now, Redmond back to serve. In system, Bouton gets the point. 15-9. And an ace. Fourth ace of the season for Jill. 16-9 on the Knox Public Health scoreboard. That's a low liner. But Sydney right there to flick it back across for the point. Now we're ready. Bit of an overpass, but Sydney right there to flick it across into the net. Point Bulldogs, 16-11. So each time Fredericktown goes on a run, the Lady Dogs start reeling them back in. It's down to five. Fredericktown led is by as many as seven to start the set. Bouton with the dink blocked. They're going to call it four hits. Now 16-12 as Winkler, the freshman, gets ready to serve again. Bouton with a nice dig. Her sister gives it a free ball. Sydney right down Main Street finishes 16 13. Deflected off the block by Bouton. And an ace. Winkler tried the right side and got it to work. 16-14. Short this time on the right side. It's collected. Bouton with the dink. Sydney there. Too strong, though. Seventeen fourteen. the score. Josie Leach. Checks back in. She'll replace Kylan Grove. Hardington, who went on that 7-0 run to start, will serve. And the miss hit gives them a point. Low liner kept up, but miscommunication again. Puts Fredericktown six points away from a 2-0 match lead. Leach goes into the net. It will give East Knox service. Addison Mustaka will serve as they switch liberos there in between the first and second sets. It's now Addison Davis who is the libero. You're allowed to do that in between sets. Nepp puts it back over. Leach crosses it. Nepp again. Carpenter with the swing, blocked and down. It's 19-16. A 
on the Killbuck replay. Sydney right there to deflect it back. In system. And a finish. Ella with the speed on that one to get the hit into the net. Callie Carpenter the serve. Nep, miss hit. Fredericktown four points away. Overpass, yummy finished. Woo. Ella Bouton, all about that one. It's 22 16. Another overpass. Fredericktown, two points away. Double hit, set point coming up. And a timeout, East Knox. While we have a moment, let's get back to our football schedule. Speaking of East Knox, they head up to Olivesburg to take on a Crestview squad that lost its first regular season football contest since 2020. Storm Blunchley, Garrett Parlett will be on the call of that one from Olivesburg. I will be in Jeromesville for a big matchup. Lucas taking on Hillsdale. The last two seasons, Lucas has won by one point due to a missed extra point. We'll see if the Falcons can bounce back. Myself, Ken Parrott, will be on the call of that one. Mount Gilead will host a high-flying upper Sandusky offense that was held in check by Northmore, so we'll see if that angers them a little bit. The Indians, I believe, posted a shutout in week one. Bryce Coder, Ike Arrington will be on the call of that one from Mount Gilead, our first ever football live stream from Mount Gilead. And then Brian Skaronski, Andy Jardy will be back in the Clear Fork Valley as Clear Fork takes on Granville, a perennial power. All six games live and free on our Facebook. And you see the YouTube channels that these games will be on. Six YouTube channels. We will also have a highlight, our own Madeline Zizuto, tonight's camera person with me. She'll be at Galleon as they take on the 2021 D6 state champs and carry as they head to Galleon to take on the Tigers. All the highlights of these matches, or these games, can be seen on the Friday Night Pigskin. Around 11.30, 12 o'clock tomorrow night. Live and free right here on the OH Report. Fredericktown one point away from taking a two sets to none lead. They have eight set points to do so. Also a reminder, we have some soccer going on right now. Crestview girls hosting here on Brian Skaronski on the call of that one. That is on our main YouTube channel as well as on our Facebook timeline. As we resume action here in set two. Addison Davis. And once again, switch the libera jersey. So I guess you can switch during a match. Just has to be during a timeout. Never seen that before. Nonetheless, Fredericktown gets the point.
And actually, it wasn't a timeout. That was the end of the set. I was off by a point. We're in the third set. So we'll reset the scoreboard here. As the Freddies take a 2-0 lead. And here they take a 3-0 lead. Hardington again. Overpass, it's an ace. Four straight. Looking like a carbon copy of the second set start. Nepp finishes that off. It's 4-1. Leach finishes that. It's 5-1. Allie Carpenter to serve here. Fredericktown up two sets to none. It's an ace. Short serve that time into the net. It's 6 2. Substitution for the Lady Dogs. Kensley McMillan checks in, the senior. Sydney gives it right back. It's 7 2. Will be a free ball. Knocked out. 8 2. Another miss hit. Out in the serve. In system, back set the nap, finishes it off. It's 9 3. Nice in system play. Nep now will take to the service line. Short serve, it's an ace. Bouton off the antenna, 9-5. So Nep on a bit of a run now for East Knox. Back set dinked, right back at you, finished. The block there for the Lady Dogs.
Leach to serve. Low liner. It's an ace. Almost miscommunication by East Knox, but it turns out to work. Zoe Parker got enough on that to go backside. It's 11 7. Redmond the serve. Low liner, corralled up. Big swing, but out. By Rose, it's 11-8. Let ball ace. And just like that, East Knox is within two. Quick set, turns into a point. Substitution for Fredericktown. Mullins checks back in. She'll serve with her squad up three. Bouton. Right down Main Street. Had that set right up for her and she was able to take advantage. Referee's ready to go here. And it might have iced the server there. East Knox gets a point back. It's 13-10. Winkler checks back in the serve. Almost an ace. Corralled up. Carpenter. Free ball back to East Knox. They return it to, to the Fredericktown. Bouton can't get that to fall, but a miss hit. 14-10. Jill to serve. It's an ace. Fredericktown 10 points away. Bit of a miss set, and it turns into a point for Fredericktown. And East Knox is going to take a timeout. We will with them. Fredericktown up 16-10 and up two sets to none. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality.
as we return. Bouton comes back and gets an ace, as you see on the replay. Brought to you by Killbuck Savings Bank. Makes it 17-10. Travis Berardi here at the dog pound in set three. Fredericktown winning 25-19 and 25-16. Another miss hit. Makes it 18-10. Fredericktown coming into this one 3-0. They've lost only one set this season thus far. Looking to keep that streak going. Also to go 2-0 undefeated in the KMAC. Carpenter, cross court, kept up. Zoe Parker blocked, and it's a point for the Freddies. They're six away. Stay tuned after the match for our post game and our Knox Community Hospital MVP. Coming up after the match. Bouton, yummy, finish, 2010. Quick set over. Off the antenna, it's a point for Fredericktown. Twenty-one ten. Short serve kept alive. Big swing corralled up by Bouton. Carpenter can just give a free ball to it. Parker gets the point. Davis back in to serve. Back left, kept up by Bouton to Bouton, who free balls it over. Off for, yes! Perfectly placed by Sydney. Lady Dogs trailing by nine. And it's an ace. Twenty-one thirteen. Back to back aces. So once again, here comes that lady dog run. Won't get three straight. But they will get a free ball back over. No, they won't. Yes, they will. It was a block, not a hit, so they would not be called with four hits. And the run continues. Carpenter down the middle. Quick shot over, and that just caught the line. No, the referees are going to actually overrule the line judge and give them the point. They're three away. Nep cross court. Overpass, but brought back. That's out. It's 23-15. Into the net, 
Blocked, kept up. Carpenter, free ball. Oprah right back at you, dug up again. Bouton blocked. Net play going on, and finally, it turns into match points. Eight match points coming up for the Freddies looking for the sweep. Their third of the season. Callie Carpenter will look to finish it. In system, Sydney, back line. They will stay alive for another point. Sydney will try and keep this alive with seven straight points. And system. Swung and finished, and that'll do it. Lily Rose finishes it off. As Fredericktown takes it three sets to none. We'll take a break when we come back. In the Simonson Construction LLC post-game show, our Knox Community Hospital MVP. You're watching high school volleyball on a Thursday night, live and free, right here on the OH Report. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Take a look at all the action from Friday Night Football right here in North Central Ohio with great analysis, highlights, coach interviews, and so much more every single Friday night right here on the OH Report.
time now for our Knox Community Hospital MVP. It is Fredericktown Junior outside hitter Callie Carpenter. Surprisingly, her first ever MVP interview with the OH Report. I'm s I am swore I thought we've interviewed her a couple times, but hey, first time's a charm. Congratulations first on the win. Um, you guys, East Knox came out firing on you guys. They had a, a big lead early on, but you guys seemed to recover and then bounce back and get the set victory. Just uh, what, what went on there that you guys were able to, you know, correct things and get things going? Well, I think we definitely came in a little bit um, hesitant. I think coming back from winning against Cardington, we kind of had the confidence, and I think we lost it a few um, a few plays during the second set, but we got back into it and got the job done. So, uh, You guys now 4-0, 2-0 in conference, one of those wins against defending KMAC <laughs> champ Cardington. That's going to make you guys feel good, but uh, before we get to your expectations this year, this is a solid squad. Coming into this match, you had five players with over 10 kills. You had two uh, players over with 20 kills. How important is it for you guys to have that balance to keep defenses off balance? Oh, it's very important. And I think um, a lot of us have been learning new positions, new plays during the game. So it's, I mean, we still need a lot of work, but I think all the girls are willing to put the work in and um, get better as the season goes. Now, like I said, your first win was against the defending KMAC champs. They went undefeated last year. You guys gave them their first loss in quite some time. What's that do to you guys, momentum-wise, knowing that you just beat the KMAC champs, making you guys kind of the favorites? Oh, it was awesome. Um, all the girls we were hype, and um, it really gave us confidence. And I think we really look forward to um, potentially winning the KMAC, um, hopefully. So gave us a boost. Yeah, you, you still have a long way to go. You got to play <laughs> them again, but it's a good start. What are your expectations now? You guys are 4-0. It's so early in the season, but what are some expectations for yourself and your team? Um, just keep our head up and definitely put in the work and um, just get better as the season goes and hopefully pull out the wins. There you go. <laughs> Lastly, as always, you want to look into the camera, give anybody a shout-out, go for it. Um, shout out to my family, the fans, um, my team, and everybody come out tomorrow night for the football game <laughs> at <Yeah>. Fredericktown. <laughs> there you have it. Tonight's Knox Community <laughs> Hospital MVP, <laughs> Callie Carpenter. Fredericktown is 4-0. Congratulations, Callie. Thanks. We'll take a break. When we come back, I'll wrap things up here from Howard. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality.
And it is time now for the Simonson Construction Services post-game show. As the Freddies of Fredericktown getting some pictures taken after a victorious 3-0 sweep of the Lady Dogs here at the Dog Pound in Howard, Ohio. Travis Berardi back here, my camera person, Madeline Zazudo. Fredericktown fell down early in the first set. East Knox had it, had the lead to as much as five in that first set, but the Lady Freddies, as you heard with Callie Carpenter, our MVP, they bounced back, won the first set 25-19, and then they kind of cruised from there. Started off the second set up 7-0. East Knox battled back. They're a scrappy squad this year. They'll be in matches. We'll just see if they can be able to finish, though. Kept it close, and then e Fredericktown pulled away, making it 25-16 in the second. Then they started off strong again in the third before East Knox tried to battle back, but it was too little too late. 25-18 is the final on set three and a 3-0 sweep. I want to thank everybody for watching this evening. Right here live and free on the OH Report. Before we go, we'll just go over some KMAC football for tomorrow night. East Knox at Crestview. The dogs will take on the dogs. Cougars. Dogs and Cougars. Yeah, that's it. G-Man and Storm are going to kill me for that one when they hear this. But East Knox at Crestview will have that one live and free for you. Columbus Academy is at Cardington. Northridge is at Fredericktown. Northridge falling to East Knox last week. South Central at Northmore. You'll see that one live and free. Danville at Bucyrus. That game will be on the radio on WBCO, I believe. Or WQEL, one of the two. But our Bucyrus friends will have that game. And then we'll have Ontario at Centerburg live and free for you. As well as Mount Gilead and Upper Sandusky. Both of those games on the OH Report. Loudonville at Utica will wrap things up. So we will have four KMAC games for you tomorrow evening. But that'll wrap things up here from Howard, Ohio. Once again, want to thank everybody that helped make things possible tonight. Madeline Zazudo, two for two on solid camera work this volleyball season. Want to thank our sponsors as well, as well as Adam Thompson, Audio and Video Design, Knox Public Health, our scoreboard sponsor, Knox Community Hospital, our MVP sponsor, Simonson Construction Services, our pregame sponsor, Killbuck Savings Bank, our instant replay sponsor, and Amato's Wood-Fired Pizza, as well as Scout Construction LLC, our commercial sponsors. I want to thank Scott Brickner and the athletic department at East Knox for allowing us to be here, as well as the OHSA for allowing us to stream these matches and games to you live and free right here on the OH Report. But we're going to get out of here. Tune in tomorrow night. Live and free football action, as well as the pigskin around 11.30, 12 o'clock tomorrow night. For Madeline Zazuto, I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from Howard. <laughs>